Yo, what's good guys? This is Nightwing2303. Welcome back to another edition of Nightwing Knows. Today we're going over my top five performance picks of the year so far. I usually try to get this out during June just because that is the like quintessential like middle of the year, but I'm a little late. Sorry about that. Before we get started, Wear Testers 2.0 basketball shorts just dropped. They come in a gorgeous white colorway, royal colorway, yellow colorway, and black. The interior features a splatter cement print, paying homage to one of my favorite sneakers of all time, and international shipping is always available. If you're interested in grabbing the pair, all you gotta do is head over to the Wear Testers shop. Link is gonna be in the description box below. So with that being said, let's go ahead, get right into it. While we're eating. So first things first, this is my top five performance picks of the year so far. There is no particular order, want to be very clear about that. These are my favorite five shoes of the year at this point in time. Anything can change by the time December hits, but as of right now, these are the shoes that you literally cannot go wrong with. So the J crossover too low, it was actually one of my top performing picks last year but at that time the shoe hadn't even released yet. It was supposed to have, but it didn't. But it's available now, and you can actually get it for a pretty good deal. They're low tops, which I personally like. They have great fit. They improved upon the support in the forefoot area by adding a very thin TPU layer over the toe box, so it got rid of the stretching that some people had issues with with the mid. Really great traction and really great cushion, all of which for an affordable price can't go wrong. The Adidas D-Rose 6 Prime Knit. I've gone over this shoe a few times. It's still one of my go-tos and I carry it in my gym bag just in case. Boost is everything. I don't know how many times I'm gonna say that, but I'll say it until it's no longer true. Boost is life. The Adidas d Liller 2, this thing is a monster. It's 105 bucks. It might be the most affordable sneaker here. It doesn't include any of the shoes that are on sale because those D-Rose 6s I've seen for 50 bucks. That's a steal. However, their original retail price on the d Liller 2 is 105. It's amazing to have a shoe that good, price that low. And yes, the shoe would still be amazing even if it was $200. It would just be an expensive ass top performing sneaker. But lucky for us, it wasn't priced that way. Those guys got really good traction, depending on the core condition. A cushion bounce is awesome. Not quite boost level, but it's very close. And then the material options, depending on your personal preference, they literally have something for everyone. Now these next two shoes are probably tied with like my, my favorite amongst these five. I alternate between these two shoes frequently because they are both that good. And that's the Adidas Crazy Light 2016 and the Nike Zoom KD5. No, not five. That's a long ass time ago. And the Nike Zoom KD9. Boost is everything, which is why I love the crazy lights. Plus they're low tops, they got some great materials and the traction on those is amazing. It is the most reliable traction out of every shoe on this list. And then you have the KD9, which are real similar to the crazy lights. They're also low tops. They both have good traction, although the crazy lights slightly better in my opinion, just a little bit more consistent. And then that full length Zoom Air is not only amazing, but they articulated it, which makes it mind blowingly amazing. Amazing. Seriously, if you haven't tried them, just go to the store, try them on, trust me, you're gonna fall in love with the cushion. And that pretty much wraps it up. My favorite thing about this entire list, not only are all five of these shoes really great performance models, but every single one of them retails for $150 or less. Talk about bang for your buck, dude. Like, I'm serious. All of these shoes, you're gonna be happy with. If you've got one or the other, or you're interested in one or the other, you cannot go wrong with any of these, in my personal opinion. So that pretty much takes care of it. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And until next time, guys, have a good one. The court that you actually see in the footage is a really nice looking court, but for whatever reason, that floor is super slick. And even with the court being slick, these guys were able to keep up no problem with some minor slipping. But like I said, I mean, the court was slick. What you gonna do? Like a foot map. So certain areas it's lower, certain areas it's higher. Kind of reminds me of the Adidas Top 10 2000, but this done in a much like smoother fashion because those had like giant bubbles that were supposed to like match your 